Hello everyone. Welcome to Travel Shuttle. Situated in Southern Europe, Italy is one of the most popular places to visit in the world for many reasons, such as its art treasures, charming towns, passionate people, and delicious food. It's a place where you can see some of the most iconic sights in the world. There are so many things to see and do in Italy that it would take a lifetime to explore. In this video, we will explore the best travel destinations in Italy. So, make sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Let's start the video. Number 10. Pisa. Nestled in Tuscany along the Arno River, Pisa holds a treasure trove of history beyond its famed Leaning Tower. The city's illustrious past as a medieval commercial hub endures in the remarkable Campo di Miracoli, housing the iconic Duomo Cathedral, Baptistry, and Camposanto Monument, adorned with marble works, sculptures, and frescoes. With 60,000 students, the University of Pisa provides the city with an atmosphere of youth. Festivals like the Luminara Festival and the Game of Bridge infuse Pisa's streets and waterways with a lively cultural pulse while the regatta of the ancient Maritime Republic's boat race showcases its maritime legacy. Number 9. Amalfi Coast In the southern region of Italy called Campania, the Amalfi Coast is known for its stunning beauty, which makes it one of the most popular tourist spots in Italy. Positano is one of the most romantic and fancy places on the Amalfi Coast. It has beautiful pebble beaches, pastel houses, mountains, waterfalls, and a black Madonna from the 13th century. Amalfi, one of the bigger towns, has beautiful plazas with shops and restaurants. The town of Ravello is on a hill with a view of Amalfi. It is known for its art and music festival and its beautiful houses with gardens and artwork. There are many mural painted houses in Furor, which is why it is sometimes called the Painted Town. Number 8. Milan. Milan, the most cosmopolitan city in Italy, is renowned for both fashion and football. In addition to its natural attractions, the location is renowned for its twice-yearly fashion shows. During the fashion shows, the city gets crowded with buyers, designers, and supermodels. Luminaries in each of these domains have resided and worked in Milan, including Giorgio Armani, Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, Verdi, and Toscanini. The enormous Cathedral of Milan, Il Duomo, is among the most magnificent churches in the world. La Scala is the most famous opera house in the world, and Da Vinci's The Last Supper hangs on the wall of a monastery. The city is also home to many museums and castles that hold some of the most beautiful art in the world. Number 7. Italian Lake District Italy's northern region is home to the Italian Lake District, which is famous for its beautiful lakes. As far back as the Roman Empire, this area has been a popular tourist spot in Italy. Many people come to this beautiful place every year to enjoy the landscapes of Lake Garda and Lake Como. Luxurious, dramatic settings and fancy Renaissance villas make Lake Como famous among celebrities, royals, and wealthy tourists. Europe's biggest lake, Lake Garda, is a great place to learn about history, culture, and outdoor activities. Explore old castles in Malsacene, walk through lemon fields in Limon, or windsurf in Riva del Garda. For over 100 years, the Italian lakes have been a popular tourist destination. Number 6. Cinque Terre Cinque Terre, referred to as the Five Lands, is one of the most beautiful places in Italy. Walking trails link the five fishing villages, and it's a great idea to see them all. Additionally, the whole area has been named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The shoreline is protected and kept in good shape to keep marine life safe and it has been this way for hundreds of years. If you are looking for sightseeing in Italy, this is a must-see sight. Surrounded by olive groves, Vernassa offers a lively nightlife scene. Along Monterosa's beautiful beach, there are resorts, and Corniglia is surrounded by wineries that slope down. Since the villages in Cinque Terre are all small and easy to get around on foot, there are a few cars here. Number 5. Venice A lot of people visit Venice, the floating city, all year long. It's the most beautiful place in Italy for a wedding, and the gondola rides are super romantic. There are many canals crisscrossing through the city. There are a lot of churches, chapels, theaters, and art galleries in the city. Unfortunately, Venice is slowly sinking. Yes, the city may be gone by 2050. While Venice can be crowded and pricey, 
it is well worth the trip to see its beautiful sights, such as St. Mark's Square and Basilica, Doge's Palace, and Rialto Bridge. Gondola rides along the Grand Canal are the popular things to do in Venice. Number 4. Pompeii Roman City Pompeii is widely recognized as one of the most popular tourist destinations in Italy. For approximately 1,700 years following the cataclysmic eruption of Mount Vesuvius, the city was buried beneath several feet of volcanic ash. Excavation of Pompeii began in 1748, and the site is yet to be completely unearthed. A tour of Pompeii offers a fascinating way to learn about how people lived in Roman times. The amphitheater, the forum, the Temple of Apollo, the Basilica, and the Granary Market are some of the most important buildings. The Granary Market has a lot of remains and plaster models of people and dogs who died in the disaster. Number 3. Sicily The ancient Greek ruins on Sicily are the most renowned tourist attractions in Italy. Romans, Vandals, Byzantines, Arabs, and Ostrogoths have all ruled this place. Ruins continue to provide glimpses of their rule. Numerous tourists are also captivated by the ruins of the remarkable architectural accomplishments of the Norman era. Surprisingly, Sicily was founded over 2,700 years ago, comprised of some of the most popular tourist destinations in Sicily. The island is also replete with significant archaeological sites. The ancient Greeks ruins the impressive ruins of the ancient theater of Tormina and structures in the Valley of the Temples. Towering over everything is Mount Etna the highest point in Italy, situated south of the Alps and one of the most active volcanoes in the world. Number 2. Florence. The capital of Tuscany. Florence is often described as a colossal outdoor museum because of its massive art and architectural treasures. Renowned as the epicenter of the Italian Renaissance, this city birthed visionaries and inventors, introducing opera and the Florin currency, which lifted Europe from the Dark Ages. Additionally, Florence is known as the home of the wealthy and powerful Medici dynasty that produced several kings and popes, impacting the entire world in several ways culturally, economically, and politically. Exploration is best on foot, ambling across the iconic Ponte Vecchio and savoring the vibrant markets, like San Lorenzo, offering locally crafted goods and culinary delights. The Piazza della Signoria showcases grand sculptures, including Michelangelo's David, adding to Florence's magnetic charm and cementing its status as an unrivaled cultural hub. Number 1. Rome Rome was the capital of the Roman Empire and is now the nation's capital and government seat. Roman civilization, renowned for its ancient Roman architecture and the Vatican City, has maintained its status as a significant hub of power, religion and culture for over 2,500 years. Rome is split into several districts. The Colosseo district is in the middle and has the oldest sites, such as the Colosseum, the Forum of Augustus, Capitoline Hill, and the Roman Forum. Beyond the city center is Old Rome, which has the Pantheon, beautiful churches, plazas, and Renaissance architecture. Roma is a big, complicated city that is both historic and modern at the same time. Rome has so many things to do and see that it might take several trips to see them all. Hope you enjoyed the video. So, do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.